Bye bye. Bye bye. Halte. Halte. It's really hard to say goodbye with them because they're really kind, cute, and good people here. And thank you so much for their hospitality. So happy to meet this kind of good people. Right then, now let's begin my trekking from Harzo to Yangbachen then. And I'll try my best to share you all my experience. Yeah, I can see a shepherd. Hello, Lord, I'm doing Babala. So this is made out of wool. Yeah. Mm. So that's a rosary. Made out of sheep bones. Ah, sheep, sheep can also eat meat. That's interesting. I thought that sheep never eat meat. They only eat grass. Hello. Bye bye. Come come sir. Come sir. Trashy Delhi. Lula not some mayo. And today on my map it says on the way we are going to see a wild hot spring which is really really nice because at, at the end of day we also can have a shower in a wild hot spring and also we are going to visit a nunnery so it looks like the hot springs and nunnery is going to make my day wow look at the view from here the mountains are so sharp and look at the sky the cloud it's like drawing the family at the Paso village they are nomad they're living mainly under yaks and every year they're selling 10 yaks and they can get like 90,000 yuan which is not bad actually and every year they can get new baby yaks like 10 to 15 and he have around 70 to 80 yaks so he have no worries about leaving you know just in front of me you can see a fancy car this kind of car is quite famous in all over china we call it wooling a really good chinese car No, no, no. Oh. Wow, she just threw me something. I don't know what she wants to give to me. Ah, that's a biscuit. <laughs> that's really cute. I'll enjoy that with my lunch. This four days tracking, if I make a summary, this is absolutely one of the most beautiful tracking route in Tibet. They actually can experience lots and lots of nomad life in Tibet. And the average altitude in this four days is more or less like 4,500 meter to 5,600 meter. So to do this tracking, I'm sure that you need to get a good acclimatization in Lhasa. And then I'm sure that you can do this tracking from Surpur to Yangbajin easily. I mean, it's not that hard, you know, as what people are thinking and telling. Let's sit behind. 
I came all the way from there, parts of, parts of village, but see they have a snowfall in parts of village. Maybe I miss a good view from parts of village. Anyway, pass this pass, my friend. Let's go and face the reality. <laughs> I have to cross this small handmade Tibetan bridge. Look at this old destroyed house. It must be their home. They are, now they have the new home and this must be their old house. It's not so windy inside here and I'm gonna enjoy my lunch in this destroyed house. See, they also have a big big yard with lots and lots of yak poo. And this is the door with moon and sun to bring the good luck. It's a good luck symbol. Wow. All the windows are already broken. Look at this beautiful house. It looks like a fortress. Like ancient fortress. So this is old Tibetan house. And this is not a really good idea to have a lunch here because it's too dirty. I prefer, I'll choose the nature to, uh, to enjoy my lunch. This must be a window. All right, now I'm gonna cross this. Whoa, lots and lots of garbage. Oh my God, that's really, really bad. I wish someone will come here and collect all the garbage. All right, let's keep moving forward and find a beautiful grassland to enjoy my lunch. Right, that was a beautiful lunch here with the yaks. The yaks have a big body, but they are really scared of the drones. I'm so sorry, yaks. I'm getting closer and closer to the hot spring and to the main road, which means I'm getting closer and closer to Lhasa. Guys, 
Look at this biggest grassland in Tibet. As I told you, it looks a little bit yellow now, but in summer, it's a really good place for the animals. I feel like I'm walking alone in Sahara Desert. <laughs> and honestly, I can't wait to enjoy this highest, most natural and the wild hot spring. Because now I can smell myself really bad. <laughs> Look in front of me, and now close to the village. I hope I can find a shop in this village and can buy a cold drinks. So Yang Bajan is right over there, and before I go to Yang Bajan. First gonna go up to this mountain over there to enjoy the hot spring. See behind me. So as I told you, a fourth day is mostly going down. So it's so easy. And I can feel more oxygen now. Let's check the altitude. See, it's 4,281 meter. I feel like I'm at low altitude now compared to yesterday or day before yesterday. I feel much more warmer. I feel much more oxygen here. And you know, Yangpachen is actually the place that they have lots and lots of hot springs. But most of them are now built for tourists. And now we don't have that much natural hot spring in Yangpachen except the one I'm going there. And it could be consisting as the most highest hot spring in the world. Now, see? I arrive here on the main road and look at this beautiful Tibetan village. <sighs> Let's go and ask to someone if I can find a shop in this village. Songha Yorwe, Diba. Songha. Songha Yorwe. This is the biggest village I've seen in these four days. Lots and lots of families here. It's a quiet, beautiful village with a background view of this snow mountain. Go and ask them where the shop is. Ah, looks like they also have a washing machine. And you know, this year or last year, I'll say, the government actually have given a washing machine to every family in Tibet. So, come on. Song Kang, how are you? Day are you? Day. Ah, yo yo. Shoot the little lens to there, be. Ah. Shoot the lens, sir. Wow, that I haven't seen that. I only have seen this kind of well in the television. It's a really deep well. Tongju 
Tunggu macam tu. Tunggu je nanti korang. Nala cukup lah yang mana ni? Alah, di kangkut cukup di ni lembur. Ah, satu hari kau je cukup lah. Cakap apa tiap kita? Ah. Yo yo, bye bye. Songa dia ni lah. Di mana lor? Yo yo, ayat. Ah ah, ayat. Ah. Hehehe. Kerja ya tengkar sungguh ini. Wow. Tisu jeep so. Ah. Ah. That looks like a portal palace. Ah. So they are now and now under constructions. Hehehe. Kangkau jam ni ber. Ah. Kangkau jam ni ber. Hehehe. Rasa onyer ber. Ah. Rasa onyer ber. Ah. Sao ni raro? Nah, kau kan baca ni raro? Bye bye. Hope they can make their own portal of palace. Songa deh raro aja. Ngah celas ni ikut. Ayat. Ayat. Songa kau ada. They haven't said this is the shops here. Let's go and see the shops. Wow. Wow. So you have lots and lots of rings. My color. Did that do it? Did that do it? Did that do it? Ah, chick-chick. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah. So for this, it costs 2 yen. And then, that's what I'm just going to give it. Ah. Ano to ano to ito? Kaya nato siya. Ano sa antusyasya? Yung pagkatao sa lochil. Lochil yung pagkatao sa mga sumjasip kaya sa tumayo mas. Lochil? Lochil sa mga sumjasip kaya. Ah, ano sa mga sumjasip kaya? Ya ya tanya. Tumtao siya kana? Ah. Tumtao siya para sa tumtao siya. Re tumtao siya ba? Ungu sak kenza jora. Ninja. Yeah, yeah. That's why I just bought some presents for the children. They look so cute. Yeah, yeah. That's why I just bought some presents for the children. Yo, untuk apa kat sini tu? Sibuk sih yang. Hahaha, ni, ajar orang kamu. Kandis, tak cari ya? Ah, ane ni la. Siang ah. Sibuk siang ah. Oh, risa. Tapi orang aku mungkin tak jual sih tadi ba. Ngo, ane orang sih betul main dah. Hahaha, ah, ya, ya, kau ikut. Ayat, tuhce, bye bye, turun dah, ah, kau ke? Ah, slow lah, yo ike, yo tak tuh saja lah, bye bye, ah ah, she's so happy that I let her keep the change, and now it's time for their party. So ni apa sahaja. Dia shy. Ming kerja alam alas. Ming alas. Ada tesis tesis. Ming kerja. Ah, lupa saya aku cakap. Ungo. Kira ni ni apa sahaja ni apa. Ungo. Kira ni kang apa jawab kali kau rata. Ungo. Bye bye. Bye bye lah tengal. They are really shy. Bye bye. Uh uh. She just told me that she can earn 300 yuan a year from her small shop. This is not really good business. I wish she have a good business because she looks so kind and beautiful. And she told me that she is 50 years old, but she looks like 30. And I'm so interested to know the name of the village. 
that is not written onto the map. Maybe I can go and ask someone the name of the village. Hello cow! Hello cow! Hello! Look at this interesting bike. And he looks like bulldog for me. Are you the god? Are you the god of the family? Ah, you scared of me. Bye bye. This interesting village. It's getting more and more windy. I'm not so... I thought I walked a lot, but I'm still near the village. This morning I came all the way from there, from this valley. And this is the village where I got my drinks. Alright, keep moving forward. I think I had my lunch pretty early because I already feel hungry now. <sighs> Look around me. Isn't it beautiful, guys? I'm alone and let me check the altitude and the altitude now is 4419 which means I'm climbing 200 meter I'm pretty sure that the rock up there it must be the sky burial and what do we do at sky burial is when, is when the Tibetan people died we don't bury them we don't cremate them we bring them onto the mountains and offer the flesh to the vultures. So this is what we call the sky burial. And I'm pretty sure that looks like a sky burial for me. Anyway, let's go and check what it is. Woo! Finally, here I am at the monastery. All right, so this is the monastery. Yes, yes, this is the lay. Do you have a good one? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Do you have a good one? Ah, So this is the flag of the Kajuba sect. Come on, Kaju. All right. Now I'm gonna go and visit the monastery. Beautiful. Yes. Let's see. 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 And the throne of Karmapa. 
17 Karmapa. And here, they have more photos of Karmapa here. So they only follow the Kamakajupa, Kamakaju sect, which is one of the Tibetan Buddhism and was founded in 12th century. So this is how the monastery looks like. Kushala. This is the beautiful monastery. Bye bye, Kushala. Let's go, Kushala. Touch it, touch it. That was a beautiful sightseeing in the monastery. And you know, in Tibet, whenever you are visiting the monastery, please remember to take off your hat. Okay? Inside the chapels, you are not allowed to wear the hat. So this is really, really important thing to be noticed. It will be really, really bad if you a visiting monastery with a hat so it's kind of respect actually like taking off the hat and going inside the chapels so remember this place and and now i'm going there i'm gonna enjoy the hot spring the best and the hidden hot spring in tibet of the hot spring this one over there is about 60 degree I guess and this one here is about 30 to 40 but this is more suitable for me goodbye monastery goodbye hot spring and now I'm gonna go down to this village and let's see if I can get dinner in this village and then I'm gonna head back to Lhasa right now I'm close to the village Yangbachen village and I just called my friend to come to pick me up from Yangbachen village so I have lots and lots of time here in the Yangbachen village, everything today is like a blessing for me. I really, really enjoyed my day. And now I'm going to go inside this house and going to ask for a dinner. I hope they will cook something for me. Hello. Hey. Yeah, you want to take the How about the ship's going in? Hello. This is called Tibetan Pagtuk. Tell a Pagtu Sir Ramla. Pagtu. This 
There's a radish, meat, and noodle. Yeah. 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 When he becomes big, he is going to be a Roberto Bergio, the football star. Amala, can you the singa tagu maro? Singa, singa devro ya. Lochi la tuento thengma chi maro. Duro ro ta ya. Na te chamba sweet. Ah, sweet enzo kwa nyo adu. Se eh, che tap tu maro ra. So this is my dinner tonight. The Tibetan paktuk noodle soup and a butter tea. This is Tibetan snacks. It's actually a dry meat, yak dry meat. Shall we? Run, shall we? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Linda. The dinner was really, really beautiful, and I just got call from my friend. Ah, there he comes. Finally, I'm going to Lhasa. Hello! <laughs> the Lhasa man looks so clean. Malukos, <laughs> listen. Shutu sum. Sum. Right. Uh, no more backpacking. Now I'm going back to Lhasa with my friend Keltor. Yeah, what just today, man? Thank you, brother. <laughs> All right. I'm so glad that my friend came to pick me up. Otherwise, if you go into the local bus back to Lhasa. Yeah, it will cost about 50 yuan and if you book a car from Yangbachan to Lhasa it will cost approximately about 800 yuan so this is my friend so I don't pay him money all right guys so this is all about the trekking from Surpur to Yangbachan monastery that took four days with 72 kilometers and I really wish that one day you can do this trekking with me when you are in Tibet and, and I really wish that you enjoyed watching my video and if you like my video please don't forget to give comment likes and subscribe thank you so much once again for watching my video this is Chamyang welcome to Tibet we are the one that can show you original Tibet see you guys in Tibet